Good morning, folks. Hopefully all of today remains as calm as what we're about to report. Unfortunately, we need about 10 eyes to monitor all the potential at once to make sure it stays that way. Let's start at spaceweathernews.com and find that there was absolutely no eruptive activity on our star, but that as the large dark coronal holes depart, the disk is peppered with thin dark plasma filaments. Contrasting the bright sunspot coming in near the center of the snaky mass, there are six plasma filaments with eruption potential either facing Earth now or set to do so as we begin this week. When these erupt, remember there is no warning of a solar flare beforehand. A new but tiny umbral core sunspot group is developing as he heads out of view to the far side, and our big guy incoming is getting a bit of company around him, even if it is still wholly negative at this time. We'll be paying extra attention today, however, and tomorrow, as we have a significant solar alignment. The heliocentric conjunction of Venus and Mars, sunspots are calm now, but they can grow in the blink of a satellite's eye. As we come to the solar wind, you can see we're still at that elevated speed. But as with yesterday, the steadiness of the stream has allowed Earth's magnetic shield time to adjust accordingly and hold off the latter portions of the intensified stream. Yesterday, we mentioned that the next coronal hole, the southern opening, was swinging in behind the southern filament. Well, that is confirmed in coronal magnetic field structure seen from Gong, but the most powerful magnetism appears to be just on or even ahead of the leading edge. The coronal hole bulk is still three or four days away, but the magnetic power is swinging in tonight. Folks, if you don't know Real Climate Science and Tony Heller, they've got a new article out showing how much temperatures have been fudged by the officials. I love how you can click links on that site and verify all the seemingly unbelievable claims. Let's check out some weather from around the world. That convergence line we saw yesterday reaching back at Uruguay caused some concern of a repeat of their killer tornado from half a year ago. Nice looking clouds. This photo is from Orange Groves in Iran. Fall snowstorms have caused billions in damage to an industry and nation that really cannot afford billion dollar catastrophes. Lastly, we'll come down under where a hailstorm ripped through Queensland hours ago, turning much of the area into what the northern hemisphere should look like right now. Folks, yesterday's Fly on the Wall podcast was a lot of fun. We discussed earthquake predictions, large-scale magnetic events and influence in the inner solar system, winter prepping, and the possibility that the entire world is ready to wake up, the 100th monkey. Your website memberships are what really keep everything going here, including these morning news. We've got pressure and radar forecast, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.